Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will be talking about UI5 bootstrapping. As you see I have an empty folder here named my products and I will begin by creating an index.html file inside. And let's create an empty HTML file and quickly update the title to my products. And now for us to use UI5, first we have to load and initialize it. And we do that with a script tag inside our head. So let's create it. And of course we need a few attributes for our script. Let's begin by giving it an ID. Let's call it SAP UI Bootstrap. And next, the source of our script. I will just paste the link here and I will also paste it in the description. It will be the path to the core UI5 library from the SAP server. And as you see, the version we are using is 1.114, which is the latest one at the time of recording this video. And we also need a few data attributes, starting by data SAP UI theme which will be the UI theme of our application and we will go with SAP underscore horizon which is the latest theme from UI5 next one data SAP UI lips and we will define the libraries that we want to use in our application for now we will only use the mobile library so we say sap.m we will go deeper into these libraries later next one data SAP UI compat version which stands for the compatibility version and we set this to edge which makes sure that we can use all the latest features of UI5 such as complex binding again we will discover in another video next one data SAP UI async and we set this to true and this way the UI5 resources can be loaded in the background simultaneously. Another one, data SAP UI resource roots, all lowercase this one, and this will be in object notation, so I switch to single quotes. And here on the left hand side, we need to decide on a namespace for our application. And I will go with UI5.product.list because in the end we will be creating a product list application and on the right hand side we need to specify the path to our resources for our application I will simply refer to the current directory and which means that for this namespace for our application basically all our files resources will be stored in the same directory as this HTML file and with the last property data SAP UI on init which will be a callback function and we want to run a JavaScript module here so before we enter the path here let's create that as well I will create another file at the same directory named index.js and now we go back to our index.html file and like I said we want to run a module index.js file so we start with module column and then the path to our JS file and we begin with our namespace UI5 slash product slash list slash then the name of our file without the .js extension and before we move on we also need two attributes for our body tags here first will first being the style class and it should be SAP UI body UI5 will use this for the styling purposes and the next one is the ID and it should be named content so that UI5 knows where to put all the application content let's save this and for our index.js file let's simply log something to the console so we know it's been invoked let's say hello from UI5. We save everything and then let's run it. I'm using a VS Code extension named Live Server, but you can use whatever you like. We go to our directory. It's an empty page, of course, but we can see our title, my products, and if we open the developer tools of our browser, 
here in the console we can see our message so everything seems to be working and if we switch to the network tab and refresh the page we can see our HTML file being loaded the core UI5 library with some additional libraries with some CSS files for the styling and lastly when everything is ready our index.js file now if we go back to our index.html file one last remark about this is for older versions you might see some javascript code here directly between script tags but this is no longer the best approach because in terms of security it's not a good idea to have javascript code directly inside html if you want to go deeper into this bootstrapping concept i will be sharing the link to the official documentation as well in the description other than that that would be all for this video and see you in the next one